question. Well, uh, I think, you know, that probably comes under the definition of an ugly win, but you will take it any way you can. Uh, play good defense. Uh, we could have pitched better. We definitely could have hit better without too many guys on base, but at the end of the day, we won, and you got a guy that we left a lot of guys on base, but you got a guy, Hayward, that put the ball in play with two strikes and busted his butt to get down the line on a dead out. Ends up bang, bang, a safe play because he busted it and played hard. And, uh, and that's a good thing to end the thing. Of course, Bartow got his uh, first win at Miami, and he pitched very good for two wins. Jim, just leaving that many runners on base, how, how frustrating is that for you to watch? Even though a lot of it came with two outs, still got to be a little maddening. What well, is? I mean, we need a big two out hit, and we didn't get it. To. We left the bases loaded three times, if I'm not mistaken. So it's uh, normally it comes back to, uh, to bite you and you don't win. So. so we're lucky to get a W tonight because St. Thomas has got a good club and they played good early. And, and uh, they uh, had a great year last year, finished in, in the uh, second World Series. And that's the reason I wanted to play them because I knew they uh, were hot and they got some good players over there. And I'm excited about you know what they're doing. After their home run in the eighth and then the rain delay, before the ninth, was there any doubt in your head, just being like, this isn't your night? Well, you, you know, yeah, we, we're leaving a lot of guys on base, and you're definitely questioning yourself. And uh, the, the home run that bases gave up was an 0-2 breaking ball right over the middle of the plate and up. So it's uh, and uh, so it's a uh, yeah, it, you, it's a little scary in those situations. And you leave guys on base, as I said before, it normally gets you. You think uh, going forward, after what you saw from Jesse tonight, um, trying to reevaluate. You know, for next midweek, or you think he'll be going again? You know, right now I'm worried about uh, the games over with. I'm worried about Friday night and whatever we got to do to try to win on Friday night and Saturday and Sunday at this weekend series. A huge series. It's probably the biggest uh, matchup in, in the whole country. So it's a, it's a huge series. It's a series that you uh, you come to schools like Miami to play. You come to play big series. You come to play in the College World Series. You come in to do those type things, and this is one of the the series that uh, you come for, this and the Florida State in particular if you're in Miami. Now Zach said he didn't feel like the team was looking ahead to this weekend. What, what, are, what is your perspective on that? Well, you know what? Uh, people have talked about it and ask you questions, and I prefer not to talk about it. When I was, uh, you know, even on the radio show last night, I didn't, I didn't really want to talk about it. I want to talk about this game because I knew St. Thomas was going to come back to Ballas and had a great year last year. They were ranked number one or two in the country, and, and, and they uh, – We've got some good players. I hadn't seen them play in a long time, so I guess we're good players. How tough is it when you play, you know, with the tradition and the history that this program has? Whenever you play anybody from Florida or South Florida specifically, you guys are always the team with, with the, the target on your back. How tough can that be sometimes? Well, it's tough because you got to not talk to our team about it. I talked to them right yesterday, and, and uh, just the fact that uh, you know. You know, we're very fortunate in Miami that a lot of players down here want to go to the University of Miami and they grew up in our ballpark, so we're very lucky. And from my standpoint, a lot of kids that wanted to go here to go to the other schools too, so they want to show us that we were wrong and they come out ready to play. And we've got to come out and match that intensity and be ready to play every night too. And these Wednesday night games are huge. Uh, and I think that's the reason our RPI was number one last year was because of uh, the fact that we played good and we won the ACC, but we also played Wednesday night's games and played well. And I need to I, I need to know what the record was last year on Wednesday nights, but it was good, and I, I would like to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.